is part four, Modeling the Head in 3D Studio Max. I'm Ben Mathis, and my website is www.poopinmymouth.com. I normally start each character with the head, and for this model I started with a rough low-poly head I created with edge loops already the way I want. I've started out with a pre-existing head. Uh, I'm going to slowly shape all the existing geometry to match up with her features. So now I'm making sure that the lips and the the chin and the jawline all line up. Rounding out the bottom of the jaw, I use the connect tool. Connect again on verts. That was extrude and target weld the edge. Trying to focus right at the very beginning on making sure that all the major features match up. And then as I uh, add new geometry that I adjusted in X, Y, and Z, Connecting on the lips, I want to make sure that they read as being round. One thing that I notice a lot of times is people will sometimes have uh, the edge of the lips all meet up exactly, and they do a lot of in and out, so I'm trying to make sure I get the, capture that in this model. So I'm constantly looking at the model with the smoothing and the symmetry turned on so that I can try and make sure the features are matching up. I always look at things, uh, I try and look at them from above and from below, just so that I can make sure that I've adjusted in all the possible axes. So now I'm adjusting using the soft select to help move the chin up. And I'm only trying to add geometry when I can notice that a certain area need, needs more to capture the shape. So a lot of this is just tweaking. I do a lot of uh, adjustments um, for every geometry or operation I do that adds geometry. Most of the time you'll see I'll adjust it in the front, and the first thing I'll do is move to the side view and then adjust in the side to make sure it matches up. So lots of connect operations. Pay attention to the shadows in the photo to try and tell you about these interior areas that you can't quite make out from the silhouette. I turn the edges as I go to make sure that it shades uh, the best way possible to help aid in the um, smoothing of the model. So now I'm chamfering this edge so that I can try and get the uh, sharp transition between the side of her nose and the bottom of the nose to read well. So these two edges being that close together will help in the smoothing. And you can see how once the edges start to get dense, it's uh, a little bit harder to adjust the edges that you have there, which is why it's important to make sure that you've adjusted each one as you go. So that it's always as close as you can get it with the geometry that is there. Checking it with the flat mode to make sure it reads well. See which areas need more triangles. So now I'm going to uh, chamfer the outside edge of the lip so that I can try and get the um, I noticed that I still didn't have the shape right, so I'm adding more geometry before doing that operation again. I saw that the chin was not quite round enough and wasn't capturing the shape, so I'm adding more geometry.
the edit triangulation. So I'm tightening up those edges so that the smoothing will read correctly. Now I'm going to uh, make the interior of the mouth to try and get better smoothing on the lips. I'm making these cuts on the side of the ear so that it smooths better into the, or sorry, the side of the nose so that it smooths better into the cheek. A lot of times I try, in low poly models I'll have a single loop turn into a double loop in some areas where it just needs a little bit more to make sure the thing is round. It ends up creating triangles but that's fine for inside a real time engine. I am still wasn't happy with how the uh, Geometry in the chin, she has a really interesting chin, so I'm trying to capture all the stuff that it does. So now I'm going to add the eye to before I finalize anything around the eye. I want to make sure that I have a sphere to add uh, to, or to shape the eyelid shape around. It helps to do that fairly early on so that you um, make sure you get that shape right before adjusting it too much. So now I've got a pre-made ear from another model. I'm going to bring that in and use that here. Now I'm just prepping the area that it's going to be connecting into so that it... There we go. So I'm just lining up the features from the old one to match with hers. I'm going to do it from the front as well. And I just uh, lost a bit of that video. apologize for that. Now I'm really trying to focus on the smoothing around the lips. Now I'm going to work on making the hair. I'm selecting all the faces around this area and I'm uh, duplicating them off so that this way I've already started with the rough um, geometry of the head below so it'll make it really easy to weld it back in. It's already roughly the shape but now I'm not uh, having to... I can, I can keep in mind the location of the scalp when making the hair so that I'm fitting it around it. So right now while I'm uh, sculpting this, I'm trying to focus on where the mass of the hair would fall so it's a bit tight on the top where gravity would uh, push it down, but a bit thicker on the back where the majority of the hair is and where it would hang a bit lower. But because it's, uh, she's in the military, I also want it to still be fairly flat all over.
So now that I'm kind of happy with the, uh, the majority of the hair shape, I'm bringing out where I want the, uh, the scalp line to be. And I'm preparing to uh, pull out the uh, area that will that will have her bun where it'll be stacked. And I saw that the nose was a bit too pointy, so I brought that in. So brought extruded out the uh, the area for the bun, and now I'm just shaping this area. Got a slight bevel on the edge to aid in the smoothing. So adding smoothing groups to see how it looks. Didn't think it was big enough, so I detached the top part. Then welding uh, the middle part together. Lots of small movement tweaks, adding the smoothing groups back to make sure that it looks right. So now I'm doing the, the bangs for the front. So I start with just a single plane. Uh, as a separate object so that I don't accidentally select the, any of the objects of the head or the existing hair. And I just try and get the roughly in shape and then make connects and adjust each piece as I go. So I know I'm going to extrude this out so that it has a bit of thickness, so I'm trying to fit it fairly tight to the head exactly where I want it to go. I didn't think it was uh, quite low enough, so I used the soft select to help bring it down some. So extruding it out, put it all on one smoothing group, and now just kind of optimizing so that it's as low poly as it can be. And I think the bangs are not quite smoothing well enough on the oh sorry and on the the bun extruded a bit just so that with the smoothing chamfered on the back so that it wouldn't be so jaggy in the silhouette chamfered it a bit on the bangs too so that would read well